Hi, some of you have asked for help with your work to do your GCSE coursework. So I'm going to try and explain a little bit more detail about the first page, page one. Page one is brainstorm. So what you can see on the page is a, a sort of a good idea of a brainstorm or a mind map. Remember, you need to fill the page and try and put as much information as you can. Try not to put single words. Try to put little text boxes, if you can, that explain some of these things. So this is just a nice, busy page, but obviously it's got nothing to do with the topic we're doing because this is just off the internet. Let's have a, a better look at a better example. Now, some of you are doing nature and the environment, um, so you would need to really think carefully about that particular topic. So you can see here it says um, that you're going to I'll just shut me down a minute so you don't see me anymore. There you go. Uh, so look at, around this particular topic. So you're trying to put on your brainstorm something about the different areas. And you can see down the left hand side here, I've got one, two, three, four, five. There's six potential areas there that you can write about. So you have a little text box for each of these six things and write a little bit about them. So a little bit about being in the garden and what sort of products you could make for the garden. Don't worry if these are things you've got absolutely no interest whatsoever in doing. It's more important on your brainstorm that you write lots of things on there rather than just writing about one thing that you think you might want to make. So, for example, where it talks about products to help our environment. These are some things you can currently buy that are already available that potentially you could make. So house cycling storage or water site recycling drainers. There's an example look on the right. That's what I'm talking about. It's a drainer that you can buy. You put soil inside and basically you can grow plants in the water that comes off your pots and pans. So these are six suggestions. Now, obviously, if you can think of more of these, you can add them. But I would definitely try and mention these because these are a variety of things around the topic. OK, so if that's got you thinking about what you're going to write now how are you going to write it so the second slideshow i attached to the current page one homework was this one so on this this is a really good example of a brainstorm you can see there's a text box rather than single words and this person has tried to write little sentences about each of the things forget the topic this was last year's coursework so it's got absolutely nothing to do with the work you're doing this year this is just something that I wanted to show you because it's a really good example of a piece of work. The blue things down the left hand side are telling me the things you must do. So, for example, it must be a landscape. You need to think very carefully about what you're putting in the middle. So it's quite obvious what your topic is. Try and do a range of things. That's what we talked about. Stuff in the red is stuff I don't want you to do. So, for example, don't just copy and paste text off the Internet. Don't just copy and paste images. OK, we don't need that. Don't cram your writing too small so we can't read it. OK, these are the sorts of stuff you need to do to do page one, your brainstorm. OK, if you want to, you can do less than six. So I talked about there being six potential topics. Let's go back and have a quick look at that. So these are the six things that I thought about. If you don't want to do six, you could perhaps do four. But you do need to write quite a bit on each one of those. OK, hope this helps.